this funny guy is asking God to be around. Even to this day, we're still chilling, caught in trouble, it's just like it always is. That's Steve, man. I'm glad I took this vacation with you, buddy. Christian. Christian, Christian, Christian. Christian was that guy. Yeah, I'd go to Phil's house often. We were always working on my junk of a car Jeep, you know, fixing it up on the radio every other day. And when we go there, Christian was always the guy that would just show his face for about four and a half seconds, scream a weave, and then he's gone. So we met. Um, I don't know if we really formally met in high school. I, I always saw the guy around. It's like, okay, who's that dude? After high school is when we started chilling, like, constantly, every day, kind of thing. And, you know, he, he continued to say that, and it wasn't until, like, a year ago when that nickname actually started sticking with me. Yeah, these guys all call me Weave. We still don't know where Christian got that from. But the whole crew come to my house and we chill. You know, play Geometry Wars. Yeah, I Oh, he was the one who introduced John she was to us. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, that's how, that's how it all began. And Sometimes, like, Christian, uh, would, like, be talking about something, something would be going on, he'd be rambling on, but I would be the only, I would, I would finish it for him, I would know what's going on in his head. And, like, like, I knew, like, I freaked, we freaked each other out sometimes, like, when it came to, like, me throwing something out there, and he's like, oh my god! I was thinking the same thing, it's kind of gay, but... One thing with Christian, which is, uh, you, know, you, gotta, you gotta put up with it a little bit, is he's always on the move. His voice is very, very, uh, very unique. It's very deep and loud. It's like, okay, you know, let's have a night where we're chilling. Chill, Christian will come around. Guys, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, the thing about his loud voice, as you guys are, you guys probably know about Christian's voice and everything. I think I figured it out why it's so loud. Christian, relax, man. We're just... We're trying to chill here. Guys, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He has a uh, ear ear problem, like earwax problem, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I think that's the reason why his voice is so loud. He talks so loud because he can't hear himself. He doesn't know how to judge his sound properly because his ears are so clogged with wax. So I think I figured that out for all the people that know him. But well, Christian, Christian, come on, like, you just want to relax today. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, fine, let's go. God, you won this time. But, Christian, come clean with your secret life, okay? I know you're living two lives. You gotta come clean, fess up, and tell me, okay? He's constantly moving, he's skinny, he's always full of energy. This guy's gotta be on something. He's gotta be. He's just doing a really good job of hiding it from us. So we get to, uh, we get to the airport. We finally landed in Mexico. And, you know, everyone's pretty, like, kind of tired or whatever. Long flight, it was really late. Sash was having this war with a bag on the on the cart the whole time. You know, there's my bag. No, that's not it. Damn it, I hate that bag. So they, you know, finally get his bag. We get on the bus. Right away. <laughs> Already it began. A long time. It's on video, isn't it? It's like everyone just hyped up again. And it's like, oh my god, we're here, and you know, we're almost there, we're almost there. So we got on the bus, we're chilling in the back, we go to the back and we just start causing some ruckus, whatever. I, I want to roll the guy out. Some guy asked us if we wanted to party, and uh, we're like, yeah, we want to party, of course, in Mexico. Man. So we start talking to him, going back and forth, showing the shit with him. And then we start, you know, thinking about drinking. And our main tour guide guy, you know, he offered us some drinks, like, I didn't even think that that could go on. Obviously, we're not gonna pass up the Corona in Mexico, so let's start this trip off with the Corona. Why not? Me and Sasha noticed like a group of people that were on our flight. We go up to some dude. We're like, hey, hey buddy, buddy, want to take a want to take a picture of us? You know, our first Mexican picture. You know, want to take a picture of us? Yeah, we we had no idea that we would end up chilling with these people for like the rest of the week, and they're awesome. Um, we dropped some people off at the other two resorts. I thought I saw my bag there. And I'm like, nah, you know, someone probably just has the same bag, whatever, it's, whatever, it's nothing. And then when we finally got there, we were all pumped, we're checking in, we get our cards. Yeah, that was my bag. Yeah, it wasn't there. And then Steve's standing there going, oh, my luggage isn't here, my luggage isn't here. But yeah, so right at the beginning of the trip, guy got his luggage dropped off at the resort before us. Like, it was, it was like the most shocked face in the world. I felt bad for him. I was just like, that sucks, man. Whatever. He was just like, oh. So I uh, 
spent like 15 minutes in a little bit of uh, suspense, worried where my bag is, if some Mexican's gonna take it or not. So then we tell the guy that uh, we lost luggage. He ends up going to another resort, grabs it for us. We get we get checked in and everything. Um, then we take one of these like golf cart type things to our room. And you know, we're having a good time. We're riding backwards on this day. So we're, we're, we're going backwards. Hey, amigo, you recording this? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> guys, guys, look at the camera, guys. Tranquila. <laughs> the anticipation finally paid off. You know, we're there, we're in our room. It was a big, like, opening ceremony type thing to open the door to our room, room 1905. Right, guys. This is us entering the room. Okay, I'm shotgun Almost. ping first. Shotgun ping first. Okay, Joe's, okay, that's um, all Joe's worried about. Here's the card. Gladian. Oh, just put it in. I gotta pee, man. As you can see, Gladian. <laughs> let's see what we got. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, actually, we're in this way. Wait, wait, I want everybody to check this out. This is stuck in here. <laughs> A real Corona, corona bottle. Notice the color. The color is the color different. difference. There is no text no or nothing. writing on here. The alcohol level is not. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Okay, so the Mexican pop it. Let me know. Five, four. Oh, come on! I gotta pee. And it was like heaven was beaming through the door. It was like just cracking out of the, all this light just coming right through the crack of the door. Turn the lights on. Awesome. Like, let's see. Here, this is our washroom right here. The washroom looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh my God! We walk in. The first thing we see: free robe, free slippers, which I have on right now. And I immediately shot my robe. Oh, shotgun and robe! Safe. So our bed skis. Where's the lights? Is there more lights? I was gonna say this is not. We said two double beds and one cot. I, ca I call that. These are double beds. I call this baby. It's not? They are double you beds. Close the door hey, where's the uh, lights? Is, it Is there any lights? More lights? And we're there for a few minutes lights? and uh, the phone rings. We pick it up and uh, finally they found my, my luggage. It was at another resort and they brought it here. So um, me and Joe decided you know, we need the exercise so we'll, we'll take the walk to go get that luggage. Me and Sasha, since we're the lazy ones apparently of the group, we stay behind. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is there any outlet turkey? All right, guys, that's not yours. I'm gonna go get it. I'll come with you. We get my luggage to celebrate. We go to the uh, the sports bar to uh, you know to celebrate that I found my luggage. So we had a shot. While we're taking that shot, we meet um, this guy Brent from Vancouver, aka Crips or Crippler. Crips, what up? We started talking with him. So I with them, we decided to meet him up at uh, the disco afterwards. They come back, and from there on is like when the trip began. These guys are all like, you know, already like, you just walk in and see like there's great energy going on. We're all ready to go out. <laughs> 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 all of a sudden, Sasha, like, yo guys, there's beer in the fridge. Whoa, this was amazing.